Welcome to Greg's Maker Corner. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the LDO Voron 0.2 S1 kit, which you can see right here. I've just finished up this kit after probably about a week or two of building it. Um, I did have a few challenges along the way, but overall it was a very smooth experience. I'm going to go ahead and share a little bit about my experiences with this kit and what you can expect if you're building one. And here is the LDO Voron 02 kit. I did print my own parts for this build. Printed on my Trident and my and my Voron 0.2. These parts are pretty good quality, I think. I'm pretty proud of them. As you can see here, there's also a larger top hat. This is a 100 millimeter top hat versus the 80 millimeter that I have on my other kits. For the most part, my build is stock, but I did decide to add an LGX light, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. Here's the Pico Bilical tool head. The nice thing about this is that you can very easily replace your fans or your thermistor or your hot end. And all you have to do is just remove it here at the back of the tool head. You don't have to remove the back panel. There is a 14 pin cable that goes from the tool head to the Pico Bilical PCB board, which is under this 3D printed piece. And this is a custom 3D printed part for the LDO kit. And you can see here that I've got the Pico Bilical mounted up at the top. It's a little bit tough in, of an angle, but all of the connectors do come through that Pico Bilical and then they connect down to the SKR Pico. You can also see the Raspberry Pi 02W and the USB hub. That was included in my kit, but I understand that's not typically included, so double check with your vendor. I did also custom design this back panel, just kind of etched in the LDO Motors logo there. The kit also includes this E3D Revo hot end, and it's Voron, specific to Voron. This is a really nice hot end, and um, I did have a little trouble with it initially because it's my first Revo. I had actually somehow managed to install the spring in the wrong spot. I really like this. It, it allows you to easily swap your nozzle. Another really nice perk of the LDO Voron 02 S1 kit is the, the bed here. The heated bed is a special type of bed that has a thermistor directly in it, which means that you're going to be able to get a really accurate reading of your bed temperature. And it also heats up very quickly. Something different that you may run into it on the LDO build, something to be aware of, is that there's a palm nut here for the, the anti-backlash nut. And there's also, I believe it's a Teflon coated lead screw. Now, I have not had any problems with this yet, but I have heard of people in the Discord that are running into issues where these nuts are getting chewed up pretty quickly. And that's probably due to something not being installed right. So that is something just to be aware of that if these rails are not perfectly centered, your spacing isn't quite right, your parts are warped, you may run into some problems there. So that's something to be aware of. Something else, the Kiriyami bed is great and I love it, but you do have to be aware that you're gonna have to print some different parts um, that are not stock Voron parts for this. And these are relatively new parts. Christopher Mueller, who designed these, uh, recently posted these. So you're going to need this. Uh, and this is even a different part altogether that uh, LDO and Maple Leaf Makers kind of came up with. But this is the part for the, the Stealth Burner LED that, that's part of the Kirigami bed. And there's also parts from Christopher Mueller are these. So there's a spacer you're going to need. There's a piece that bolts onto the bed. And there's this wire channel. And there's also a, a uh, piece back here that holds the nut. So all those pieces are going to be needed. And here's the bottom of the machine. It's got a, two, a very nice 200 watt Morn Sun power supply. I was impressed with the AC inlet as well as the gauge wiring that was used here. As well as the color of the wiring. Everything checks all the boxes there. And then we've got our LDO stepper motor. Now I did use some wire clips. And I'll post the link to those in the description. But that, those are from Mandic Really. Maple Leaf Makers has also designed this top back panel here that allows you to feed your Bowden tube in directly uh, with a much shorter path. And this is great, especially for TPU type filaments. You don't have to worry about your Bowden tube going up through your wiring and having an odd angle. So I really like this design. In terms of overall impressions with the kit, I'm very happy with the overall result. And I will say that this is definitely a premium kit. It's also a kit that you're going to spend a little bit more on for those premium components. Generally speaking, every component that I received was high quality 
It, it felt uh, very premium. They were genuine parts. However, having said that, I still did run into some problems. And just because you're getting what most people would consider a high quality premium kit doesn't mean that you're going to not have issues. The first problem was that the Bontech gear that I received is a little bit different. Uh, it had a shorter end on the shaft and it also had a shorter flat than what I was expecting. Because of that, I decided to not use the stock mini stealth burner extruder and I decided to go ahead and go with the LGX Lite. Now, that's not to say that you're going to have the same problem. I did raise this issue to LDO and they're looking into it. I'm not sure if this is a one-off issue for me or if all of the kits are going to be affected by this, but that is something to be aware of. The other thing that I ran into is that my extrusions for the top hat were not perfect. So I had two of these shorter extrusions and they both had deformed extrusion faces and channels. Uh, and I'll show that here on the video. But basically that prevented me from finishing up the top hat during the build. The great thing about LDO is that if you run into issues, they are going to fix it. I went ahead and reached out to a local vendor, KB3D, and I just went ahead and bought a whole set of uh, top hat extrusions just to show my support for some of the local vendors, especially since LDO did provide this kit to me for free. LDO immediately offered to replace them, so I could have had those replaced under warranty if I wanted to. With that in mind, everything else was, was perfect. There's a lot of things I like about this kit. Uh, I would say some of the premium features that really stand out to me would be things like the high wind linear rail that's included. And that has a Z1 preload, so that means that you're not going to get any wobble on the tool head. With some of the other kits, you might, and even the older LDO kits, uh, you did not receive a, a rails with preload, so you'd have a little bit of wobble, which can affect print quality. So that's something to be aware of. It also includes the Kirigami bed. The Kirigami bed mod is nice. The really nice thing about it is that you get an LED on the front of the bed and includes some electronics as well, so you can easily swap your hot, your heated bed in and out and disconnect it when working on it. That's something that you're not necessarily going to find with every kit out there. My kit did include the, uh, the Voron Zero display. My understanding though is that LDO does not include those displays by default. So that's something that you're probably going to have to purchase extra if you are going for one of these kits, just like you will have to also purchase a Raspberry Pi. I received plenty of spare parts. In fact, uh, this is pretty much what I had left over. There are all kinds of parts left over here, including uh, even parts that I didn't even open. The other thing that's really awesome about this build are the slide-in nuts. The slide-in M3 nuts saved me a couple times. Normally you would have to disassemble your Voron to get those parts in. That's a real pain in the butt. You just you know, un had to undo work that you did. With these, they're very simple to just angle in, get a pair of tweezers, and pop those in. So. These are definitely a huge pro to this kit. And you're not going to be able to use these on necessarily every extrusion out there. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you may have seen my Voron Zero Two series where I walked through how to build one of these. Uh, this is my self-source kit and it's probably around maybe $900 to $1,000 in terms of total cost. And it does have a lot of extras like these nice uh, powder coated extrusions. It's also got uh, an AC bed among other upgrades that I won't get into at this point. This is the LDO kit, of course, and over here you've got the Cyborg kit. This is the budget kit at $469 shipped. Now the real question and the one you're probably wondering is, is it worth it? Is the LDO at, at around $650-ish, is that worth the, the investment compared to these other two? And, and that's a tough question to answer to be honest with you. I think if you are going for premium quality, you want to make sure you get pretty much the best quality that's out there. I definitely think you're going to get that with LDO. And even if you run into an issue, the vendor support that you're going to get is going to be top notch. So if you do run into a problem, your vendor or reseller is going to address that for you. You will also get a dedicated channel in the Voron Discord. And that that's a lot, right? There are people like LDO, Jason, Cameron. There are people that will help you with your issues. There's a lot of others that have built Voron Zero Two kits and so on and so forth that can jump in and help you. If you're gonna go with the Cyborg route, there's also a Cyborg Discord, but it is separate, it's standalone. Um, I think Cyborg, the Cyborg kit has a lot of good value. I know they're continuing to improve their kits. Um, I, I definitely would say if you're more on the budget end of things and looking to, to save money, 
that's it's a decent kit and of course the last option if you really want to go with something custom and maybe you know a little gucci let's let's face it so i've got these smoke panels I've, there's a lot of cool stuff on this that's always an option when you buy self-sourced you're going to spend a lot more the reason for that is you're going to pay a lot more on shipping because you're probably buying from multiple providers and you're just getting the components that you want so that's the ultimate flexibility and you can control all the quality you want you can cheap out on some components you can spend more on others if i were to improve the kit it's really hard i'm hard pressed to really find anything that i would do differently um, probably the only thing would be to include the voron zero display um, in the standard kits as well as you know maybe an, an alternative raspberry pi i know that raspberry pis as of may 2023 of the time of this video they're still pretty hard to find and a lot of times you're going to need to source that on your own if you want to build this kit uh, with with that in mind there's really nothing else that you're going to need to change about this kit or upgrade some of the, some of the other budget kits uh, you you may need to replace the hot end you may need to put in a different extruder beyond that um, the extrusions are fantastic the motors are good I haven't had any issues printing with it no weird noises coming from it I don't think you can go wrong with this kit hopefully this gives you an idea of at this price point what you can expect to get you're going to get a great printer you're going to have some premium parts and you're going to have some extras as well i didn't show it earlier in the video but there's also an adxl uh, 345 sensor built into the pico bilical tool head you do have to run a separate cable from your tool head down that's not a big deal because that's only a one-time thing typically so all in all this is a very comprehensive kit you are still going to have to buy a raspberry pi probably a Voron display, Voron Zero display, depending on if your kit comes with one or not. Some distributors may include those. But beyond that, you're, you're all set. You're going to have everything you need, and it's going to be a very enjoyable experience. If you do happen to forget to preload a nut, you're going to be able to easily drop one in. All right, well, I hope this video has been helpful for you, and thanks again for watching my channel. If you happen to be attending the Midwest Rep Rap Fest in 2023, I will have the LDO for on 0.2 there. I'm also going to have the other two that I built and that I showed earlier. So if you want to compare them in person, stop by my booth and say hello and uh, check them out. Thanks again for watching Greg's Maker Corner. Oh wow, are you still here? You must want to see some more content. Well, you can just spend the next few minutes watching my printer go if you want. It's pretty cool. And here's the first cube off of the Voron 02. Not too bad. I haven't really done much calibration on it other than rotation distance. This is using a matte PLA filament from Polymaker. Well, that's it, folks. Thanks again for watching, and just go get your LDO kit already.